Okay, we're going to learn about the 30 60 90 special right triangle. Very important concept. The SAT loves 30 60 90 triangles, okay? Matter of fact, they love it so much in the directions they're going to give you what is called the reference triangle. They do it a little different than I do. Um, they put x 2x and x radical 3. To me, you know, letters scare kids. So, I do 1 2 radical 3. Again, SAT, 1x, 2x, x root of 3. It's the same thing, all right? So how do we know I got it right in the first place? So what you want to do is just, it's like a wheel. I go 1, 2, 3, but I know that's the square root of 3. How do I know that? Because if I use Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus square root of 3 squared equals 2 squared. That's 1 plus 3 equals 4. We know we got it right. They're not out of order, okay? So... This is the reference special right 306090. I would write it down on every homework question, every test, whatever. So when you see a triangle that's a right triangle and you see a 30, you should be getting excited because you know it's this has to be 60. So it's a 306090. Now this, this triangle is oriented the exact same way, which makes this question a little easier. Okay, We need to figure out these two sides. In other words, we need to go from here to there. Well, that's exactly like going from here to here. Well, what do you do? Multiply by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. By the way, you're only going to multiply or divide. You're never going to add or subtract. So to get from here to here, you just simply times by 2. So x must equal 8. Don't make this more complicated than it needs to be. Okay? How do I go from here to here? Multiply by radical 3. So how do I go from here to here? Multiply this by radical 3. So y is equal to 4 radical 3. That's it. Now, over here, you could see it's oriented a different way. Well, first off, it's a right triangle. I see a 60. I'm going to pull a little 30 degrees there. And then look what I'm going to do. I'm going to orient my reference triangle so it looks like that. Okay? See how it, it's going the same way? So, again, 1, 2, radical 3. Now, how do I know that? Well, 1 is the smallest side, so that must be across from the smallest angle. 2 is... The biggest number out of these three numbers, trust me, 2 is bigger than the square root of 3. So it's got to be opposite the right angle. So now we're oriented the right way. Well, how do you go from here to there? I don't know. I mean, I could tell you, but you probably get confused. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go from here to here. How do you go from there to there? How do you, what do you do to radical 3 to get to 1? You divide by radical 3. Because square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. So what do we do to 12 to get to x? x is equal to 12 divided by radical 3. Okay, well, we don't like uh, radicals downstairs, so we're going to what's called rationalize the denominator. And all you do is multiply top and bottom by the denominator. So x is equal to 12 times radical 3 is 12 radical 3. Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Now, is it tempting to reduce those 3s? Uh, that's the sucker's move. Don't do that. You can't manipulate numbers inside radicals with number outside radicals. But you can reduce here. 3 goes into 3 once, goes into 12 four times. So x, after all that, is equal to 4 radical 3. 4 radical 3. Now we can go here. All you do is multiply by 2. So y would be equal to, what is 2 times 4 radical 3? 8 radical 3. And that, my friends, is how you can use the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle.